Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Uh, I feel like I'm late to the party, but today I finally get to open my first collector booster box from uh, Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. By the time this video even airs, uh, we're probably like only two weeks away from from uh, Double Masters 2022. So we've already hit this like super weird inflection point with this particular product where people have kind of moved off of it already. The interesting part about that is, believe it or not, there are actually good cards in this set. Um, mostly at the mythic level, good good rare land cycle, but uh, it has made the card, the fact that a lot of this product isn't getting opened or not nearly as much because people aren't craving it and I think people are kind of storing their money away for double masters, uh, it's really driven up the price on some of the harder to get cards in the set. Uh, any ancient dragon is good. There's a few other really good pulls in here. I'm going to shut up now. Let's just Let's just open these up and crack some packs. See how we do. I'm actually fairly excited. I've opened up a couple, few set booster boxes, and um, those are those can be kind of gnarly. But overall, I've actually had really good luck with the set boxes so far. I say really good luck, but pretty good luck. By the way, the packaging. I know other people have commented on the packaging. It's good. It's really good. These boxes look awesome. But. Totally excited to open my first collector booster box, finally. All right, <clears throat> there are some really strong mythics in here. There's actually a, a couple of really strong rares that I have emerged as well, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, Ancient Dragons is kind of where it's at, particularly the uh, Ancient Copper Dragon. That's uh, fetching a pretty penny at this point. Okay, we're gonna skip, uh, kind of skip towards the good stuff here. Abdel, sure. Street Urchin. Our first uh, our first foil etched of the box is Dungeon Delver. Neat. Little background there. Foil etched background. And then we've got, hey, first mythic is going to be Karlak, Fury of Avernus. Uh, that is a pack foil mythic. Not bad. And then we've got, uh, what is that? Naufashin, Shini, Beast Demon. That is a uh, crazy looking, sure. Undermountain Adventurer, nice. And a, oh, another two foil, two foil etched? Okay, weird. I'll have to, is that normal? Uh, Shameless Charlatan, another background. Ooh, second mythic, we've got a borderless Nautiloid ship. Okay, and you know, I mean, the, again, kind of all the, there's no horrific mythics, there are mythics that are better than others, but uh, borderless, borderless mythics seem good. Crazy looking ship right there. And then we've got uh, Gorian Wise Mentor, as the uh, the rule book card, uh, decent first pack. <clears throat> two uh, one pack, two mythics. That's a uh, that's a ratio I can live with. That is a ratio I can live with. Okay, pack number two. Love the I love I I I I know a lot of people don't really care for it, but I really actually do enjoy the parchment or rule book art. Call what you want. Uh, we'll just put those all in one pile, though. All right. Wilson! Minthar, Merciless Soul as a foil etched. White Plume Adventure as the, uh... What are we doing here? White, White Plume Adventure as the, uh, pack foil rare. Cool. I'm mixing up my piles. That's what I'm doing. I'm mixing them all up. Bothersome Quasit, uh, as the, uh, extended art card. First, uh, first crowd land of the box. A uh, extended art luxury suite, decent, very decent, and then Jan Jansen. So maybe we do get multiple. Fo well, I don't know. Yeah, uh, multiple foil edge. Uh, Jan Jansen, Chaos Crafter, Mazzy the True Sword Paladin, True Sword. I'll take swords for a thousand dollars. And uh, Blood Money. Ooh, another mythic border. Uh, a uh, extended art Blood Money. That is a nice mythic right there. And uh, the foiling on that, it does pop. It's pretty good right there. I'll take it. So. Two packs, three mythics, and a couple of decent hits. No dragons yet, but I'll be, I will say that uh, I'm not unhappy with that either. And and one land already as well. I feel like we're doing okay. All right, Scanos Dragonheart, Flaming Fist. Uh huh. First foil etched is the uh, Agent of the Shadow of Thieves. Okay. Another Shameless Charlatan as the uh, pack foil. And uh, next up, we've got Aboleth Spawn. That is actually a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent rare hit. Not bad. That's our extended art card. Cool. Called the Void as another extended art. Uh huh. 
Gorgon Wise Mentor as the next foil etched card. And uh, is that uh, Will, the Blade of the Frontier as the, uh, as the pack foil, or not the pack foil, the uh, parchment rare. And then Gale's Redirection as the Extended Art Foil. First, uh, first pack without a Mythic in it. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. I don't know what I want to do with my piles here. I'm going to get this together. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, moving right along. Pretty good first three packs, though. And that Abola spawn actually is uh, its kind of a sweet card, too. Okay. <laughs> Busybody. Uh, Harbury's Busybody, sure. Inspiring Leader. Flaming Fist in that foil etched. Survivors stick together as the, uh, oh, it's like the party board wipe, I think. Yep. Extended art, cool. Monster Manual, this card I am a huge fan of, so I am not unhappy about that as an extended art pull rare. Oh, dang. Uh, Miriam Sentinel Worm as the uh, etched foil rare. That is a beefy, beefy commander right there. And then Raphael Fiendish Savior as the, uh, as our next rare up there, that parchment treatment, that rule book art, if you will. Near a Wild Mage as the foil version of that as well. Pretty sweet. All right. Not a huge pack, but not like a, not a dumpster fire. All right. Would love to see some more mythics and some more lands though. All right, next up, Corlesa Scale uh, scale Singer. <laughs> We've got our Etch Foil card, cool. Mighty Servant of Luko. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, little Commander Mythic there. Well, it's all Commander, but you know what I'm saying. Father and Dread Wolf Herald as our next Mythic up. Astarian's Thirst as the Extended Art Rare. Mazzy True Sword Paladin again as the uh, Foil Etched. Ball, Lord of Murder. That is a crazy looking art right there. I think that's pretty cool looking. And Elithid Harvester as the extended art foil. And that card is, uh, I mean, not value wise, but actually kind of a cool art. Kind of a cool card otherwise. Slots right into a uh, deck that runs horror cards. Elithid Horrors. All right, last pack of the first half of the box. Kind of stalled out on Mythics a little bit. Little Swift Boots, nice. But, uh, we got time. All right, Safana, Calimport Cutthroat, Emerald Arch Druid. All right, we got a Far Traveler as the first etched card there. Zelof, uh, Zevlor, uh, the uh, foil, pack foil right there. Seasoned Dungeoneer as the extended art. Fearbolg Flutist as the extended art. Nero Wild Mage as the uh, etched foil. And Astari and the Decadent as the. Uh, as that parchment treatment, nice. And Intellect Devourer, actually, it's kind of a cool card. Intellect Devourer as the foil extended art. That concludes the first half of the box. Uh, we did stall out on lands. Uh, four Mythics, though, not bad. Nothing huge money, though. Would love to see one or more dragons. Actually, there's a, really co a couple of really good rares that are not, uh, besides the lands that I would not be uh, unhappy about seeing as well. And I'll let you know if we pull one. All right, Scion of Halister, sure. Uh, Gloomstalker is our first etched. Traverse the Outlands as the uh, pack foil. Venture Forth as the extended art card. Gale's Redirection as the next extended art card. Alando the Seer, uh, pack foil, or excuse me, etched foil, uh, etched foil rare, cool. Hey, Borderless Vexing Puzzle Box. Um, very curious about using this card to see if it's actually like if, if that charge counter thing is actually makes it usable or playable as a now what is essentially a three mana rock. Uh, neat card though, love the love the art on it, fan of that. And then the mighty servant of Luko again as the uh, this time as the extended extended foil. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, here we go. Uh, need some more lands, please. We need some more of those. I'm gonna need a few more of those, please. All right, Fire Diamond. Renari, Merchant of Marbles. Dragonheart as the etched. Glunch the Bestower as a pack foil. Black Market Connections as the extended art. That is a pretty, actually a pricey rare. Very nice pull right there. I don't know, I'm gonna guess like 18 to 20 bucks for that. So that's actually a really decent pull. 
uh, Illithid Harvester, this time is the Extended Art, non-foil. Popular Entertainer as a uh, background etched foil rare. And Merkel Lord of Bones as the as the rule book art. And again, crazy looking art. It really does. Uh, those look those look really spicy. And then uh, Will's Reversal as the extended art foil. That black market connection, though. So again, that's uh, that's actually a pretty good pull right there. That's probably paying for the pack. Again, I'm gonna guess it's probably around eighteen dollars. I think. All right. We find ourselves kind of in the middle at this point. I definitely don't think we're in dumpster fire territory, but uh, we're going to need a few really strong pulls to, to pull this box up. All right, Dragon Cultist as the edge foil. Another, how many have I pulled of these? I'm going to get like a play set out of this box. Illithid Harvester. Breath Sealer Dragon in the extended art. This guy is crazy looking. Uh, I dig this card so much. Uh, huge. Uh, not like probably value wise, but again, just a really fun looking card. Another Intellect Devourer. That's also strong. Very nice. Extended art. And Astari and the Decadent. Uh, this is actually a pretty good commander as well. Um, that's in the Etch Foil treatment. And the Duke Older Raven Guard as the rule book art. And Barroom Brawl as the extended art foil. Okay, we've got three packs left. And we're still stuck on one land, which we pulled like really early. So, where are the lands? Show me them lands. All right, the Moss Diamond, mm-hmm. Ganax, Astral Hunter, yep. Candlekeep Sage as the etched, nice. Bane, Lord of Darkness as the pack foil. Mocking Doppelganger as the uh, as the extended art. Nice, uh, Basilisk Collar as well, actually really, uh, that's a nice reprint and a decent extended art card. Bane, Lord of Darkness, this time in the etched foil treatment, sweet. Lazelle. Uh, as the uh, rulebook art, nice, and the cancel of, Council of Four as the uh, foil version of the parchment treatment. So, not a home run. Two packs left, five mythics in one land. Uh, I will say that we have probably fallen behind at this point. So, we will need we will need some spice to close this box up. Otherwise, we're in trouble a little bit. All right. Coldest of Tiamat, sure. Candlekeep Sage, uh huh. Thrakus the Butcher as the uh, edge foil, nice. Another Flutist as the pack foil. Zelix, Sanity Flare as the. Oh, this is a Mythic. Oh, how did I not realize this? No. Right. Okay, cool. Um, unsure about this one offhand, pricing wise, but it is a Mythic, so we'll take it. Sanity Flare, Hive Mind, Milling. Yep, right on. Caves of Chaos Adventure, okay. Extended Art, Ragadraga, Gorgut's Boss as the Foil Etched Rare, nice. And Shadowheart, Dark Justicer for the Parchment Treatment. And Robe of the Arch Magi, super good. Look, like, look at the foiling on that, by the way. Like, that looks spectacular. That's kind of, uh, that looks great. Robe of the Arch Magi as the Extended Art Foil. All right, last pack. No dragons, one land. Kind of sad. All right, here we go. Let's finish Cloak of the Bat. Mahadi, Emporium Master. Renari Merchant of Marvels as the edge foil. We finally got our second land of the box. We got a pack foil, Bountiful Promenade. Nice. All right, Grail Philosopher as the extended art. Altar of Ball. I don't actually think I've seen this card. I'll have to read it later, but I'm curious. Altar of Ball as the uh, extended art rare. Merkle of Bones in the etched foil treatment. Nice. Jan Jansen as the pack or as the uh, rule book art. Nice. Traverse the Outlands in the extended art foil. And woof, and a rabbit token to end us up. So um, off the bat, I mean, I know we hit the black market connections. Um, we had a couple other fun things in here, but. More or less, we kind of whiffed on the Mythics, not hitting anything of, of the super high end there. So this box might have been below average. Uh, we'll check it out, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the opening. And if you did, please remember to hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me. And by all means, of course, drop me some comments as well. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much and have a great day.